بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Okay so let's try to talk about the solution for ARP spoofing attack Now on the switches we can enable dynamic ARP inspection we can do that okay. So let me just quickly review what is ARP attack Uh, which means let's say there is a 1.1 trying to communicate with 1.2 and then there is a 1.10 who is an attacker okay so where the 1.1 is trying to communicate with 1.2 sends an arp request or the arp broadcast okay and normally the attacker will send on a reply a fake arp reply okay so he's just trying to pretend to be 1.2 and is sending a fake arp reply that is what uh, the arp uh, spoofing attack art spoofing attack right so what i want to do is i want to validate this arp messages so what i can do is i can enable a feature called dynamic arp inspection in this we are going to validate nothing but we are going to check the arp replies and i am going to tell that hello switch i am going to give some additional responsibility for you you are not just doing the switching you also have some security features enabled where it is also doing some additional job roles if the switch supports of course so what we are trying to do is we are going to tell that hello switch i want you to check the arp replies so which means validate whether they are correct or not so if they are correct then you can process them if they are not correct then you can just simply discard or put the port into error disable state okay But now the question is, okay, the switch is going to validate, but how? Because the switch must have the correct information, right? Because the switch also should know what is the correct information, or the switch must have the database of IP to MAC, right? So the switch must have IP to MAC correct bindings to make sure that the information is correct or not. So now to get this binding information again, it is going to use the feature called DHCP snooping. at the back end so we already discussed the dhcp snooping which means uh, in the production network you generally maintain a dhcp server okay and we all know the dhcp server how it works so whenever a client sends a request he will send its own mac address and the dhcp server will assign the ip address and if you go to show ip dhcp bindings you know the dhcp server will have which ip address what mac address is allocated so the switch the dhcp server already have that information so the switch is going to use that information by enabling the dhcp snooping so when you enable the dhcp snooping it is going to use the database of the dhcp server to bind to check the or to validate the correct ip to mac bindings and what if there is no dhcp uh, server let's say if i'm using Uh, most of the production networks you definitely use dhcp but there are some uh, users let's say there is a programmer he says that my pc does not uh, do not require a dhcp because i'll be running some applications and if there is a frequent change in the ips then that will impact so maybe he's also an attacker so if there is a user who is using the static ip or you can manually bind the ip to mac binding you can also do arp binding where you are going to tell that if this user is replying with this mac for this ip then only it is validated okay so basically you are going to use both the combinations and that's what the dynamic arp inspection is going to do so dynamic arp inspection is going to prevent the arp spoofing attacks that's what we discussed and how it is going to do that it requires the special ip to mac binding information and this is dynamically downloaded or dynamically used from the dhcp database because once you enable the dynamic arp inspection each and every interface will be validated with ip to mac binding verifications okay again the configuration commands are a little bit options here like uh, you need to there are two options one is If you see the configuration a little bit, uh, we have to enable the DHCP snooping. So once you enable the DHCP snooping feature with this command, same like what we did, and then we need to tell 
the ARP inspection, we are going to enable the dynamic ARP inspection for the VLAN 10. And I'm going to tell the dynamic ARP inspection is going to use this ACL binding, the ARP ACL we call it as. And this ARP ACL is going to bind something like this. So where we are binding, if the ARP request is coming for this IP, then this should be the MAC. If the ARP inspection is coming from this IP, this should be the MAC. So this is basically the static binding. I have written the static binding as well, example, where you might have a static binding, or you can just use the DHCP server or the DHCP snooping database for the dynamic bindings. Means dynamic endpoints who are requesting the IP from the DHCP server, it can be used with that. So, there is only one command you can see. There is a one command you have to enable dynamic ARP inspection. But at the end, uh, when you enable dynamic ARP inspection, still, if you don't have the database, that's not going to work. Okay. So this configuration will ensure that each and every port, each and every port will be enabled with dynamic ARP inspection, which means any user, anyone sending an ARP reply, it will be validated by default but again you may want okay there are some few uh, ports which are trusted and i don't want the inspection so what i can do is i can simply go and say let's say this is my so there are few ports which are trusted which means i want to disable dynamic arp inspection where i don't want to validate or check uh, check those ports like there are some ports which are trusted like connecting to my IT department or connecting to my uh, my manager, my boss. So I want to reduce the load on the switch. So what I can do is I can go and say IP ARP inspection trust, which means these ports are trusted ports, which means uh, indirectly what I'm doing is I'm going to disable the dynamic ARP inspection and I'm going to say that don't validate ARP replies on these ports. It's an optional configuration but again, uh, recommended to enable on the trusted ports. Okay, so that's what ARP inspection will do. Uh, in simple, ARP inspection is going to ensure that every port is validated. The ARP replies are validated and checked based on either the DHCP snooping database, which is more common, or you can add static, or you can add the combination of both as well.